So it's starting to get hot. Here we are, it's the middle of June, and getting close to the middle of June, and it kind of feels like the middle of July right now, given that temperatures are kind of in the high 90s, mid 90s, and temps are in the 60s and 70s at night. So it's time to go ahead. I'm gonna put down an application of Hydrotane, but I also wanna talk a little bit about Hydrotane. You know, there's a lot of half-truths out there in some of the content that I've seen, and so I've been working with the folks that make Hydrotane from BioPro and Ecologel, and talking a little bit more about exactly what it is, how it works, and how you should apply it. So this will be a comprehensive video on how to apply Hydrotane and talk a little bit about exactly what it is and how you can benefit from it. So in order to demonstrate, Let's get the pro plugger out and take a plug so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So let's talk about what hydrotane actually is. And first and foremost, it's not a wetting agent. It's not a surfactant. Those are completely different groups that we'll talk about in just a minute. But what hydrotane does is it allows water to turn into droplets and almost like a magnet and retain itself kind of in the layer where the roots are inside of the soil. Now this is in the form of water vapor. So water vapor is something that collects once there's been gravity that pushes the water down through the soil structure, down into the aquifer, which is actually where you get well water from. And there's also water that evaporates out of the soil. What hydrotain does is it works to retain that water in the soil structure so that the, the plant can actually use that water so it's not in the form of water vapor because the plant cannot use water vapor it's not plant available so hydrotain works to actually use that water and keep it in the form of a water droplet rather than water vapor so that your plant can actually use the water that's in your soil the wetting agents are used for hydrophobic soils or areas in the lawn where you see that you may have some localized dry spots that are not getting any water or they're not able to retain water. The wetting agents are going to help you get the water down into the soil structure. So when you see wetting agents being used on golf greens or lawns uh, or maybe areas where you're getting a lot of water runoff and the water is actually not penetrating into the soil, the wetting agents are going to help you get the water down into the soil. Where hydrotain comes into play is hydrotain tries to anchor the water in the soil structure down where the roots are. So if you're using a wetting agent with hydrotain, essentially you're helping the water get into the soil and then hydrotain is helping to keep the water anchored there and attaching itself to the roots and the root hair. So using them together could be mutually beneficial for sure. So with hydrotain as a product trying to attach itself to the roots and the root mass and the root hairs, a lot of products out there that are using in you know biostimulants and hormones like amino acids and peptides and kelp that can help you build a better root mass those types of products using in conjunction with hydrotain are going to give you better results because you're going to have more of a surface for the hydrotain to attach to so if you're using those types of products on their own or maybe you're using a combination product like this one this is one i like to use this is called multi-purpose plus it uses um, a a blend of micronutrients, a little bit of macronutrients. It uses sea kelp, um, which is the sea extra that's in the product, and also H3O+, plus, which is just another labeled term for hydrotain. You may see hydrotain sort of in the field under a few different names, hydrotain being the most well-known. It's white labeled for site one as Lesco Moisture Manager, and then H3O+, plus is another variant that you can see for hydrotain. If you see those three labels out in the market, just know all of those things are just hydrotain with a different label. So how do you apply hydrotain? Well, you've got several options. There is a 32 ounce quart and a ready to spray option that you can buy online that's pretty affordable if you're using it once a year. I prefer to buy it by the gallon. Um, when I buy this by the gallon, actually this was sent to me by Ecologel, I didn't buy this. Um, but if you are buying by the gallon, you can go ahead and mix that up in a in your own hose end sprayer or a backpack sprayer, whichever you prefer. The gallon gets you a little bit more for your money. It's a little bit cheaper to buy it in bulk through the gallons than if you're buying a bunch of individual, individual ready to spray options. Um, but a couple things to note when you are applying, if you're using a hose end sprayer, you get a little bit more carrier volume when you're applying that. And one of the most important things about your hydrotain application is getting it watered in. You wanna actually get it into the dirt or into the soil when you're applying that for best results. So if you're using a hose end sprayer, you get a little bit more carrier volume when you're applying the product, and then you can go ahead and water that in just for good measure after you've made that application. If you're using a backpack sprayer, 
Obviously, there's kind of a maximum amount of water you're able to apply if you're using a four gallon backpack sprayer, or maybe you've even got a 12 gallon push sprayer or something along those lines to give you a little bit more carrier volume. It's a good idea to go ahead and water that application in immediately. I even know some people when they're applying the hydrotain that they'll go ahead, they'll treat a thousand square feet with a backpack sprayer, go ahead and water that section in and move on to the next thousand, wash, rinse, repeat in that sort of fashion. The third option for you is going to be a granular application. You can buy it, you can buy the product dry, you spread it out with a just a normal fertilizer spreader. I've done this before, it's actually very easy to do, and then you go ahead and you water that in. If you're not lucky enough to have, or fortunate enough to have an irrigation system, you might want to wait for a spell of rain to come before you go ahead and apply the granular product down. Same can be said for liquid products. If you're not irrigated, go ahead and wait for some rain before you go ahead and apply. Now application timing is another thing that's really important to talk about. Um, I like to use a resource that's completely free. It's called weatherbase.com and weatherbase actually gives you some information based upon weather history in your area over the course of several years. It will give you data on which months of the year are do you get the most precipitation, what are your hottest months of the year, what months of the year do you get the most sunlight exposure, and all the things are really going to play into when you time your application. So now that it's mid-June, even though it feels like mid-July because it's so hot out here right now, May is my wettest month of the year here in St. Louis, Missouri, so I get a lot of rain in May, and then June, the rain starts to taper off a little bit, and then July, we definitely get into some really dry months with a lot of heat. So I really want my application, which ideally is going to last you around 90 days if you apply the hydrotank correctly. So by doing it in mid-June, it'll carry me through July and August, and maybe into September a little bit if the residual does last 90 days. So use those tools that you have. It's a free tool. If you go to weatherbase.com, I encourage you to do that. Type in your geographic location. You can actually just type in your zip code and it'll give you some data on your specific region where you live on when you can go ahead and apply hydrotain based on when the rain starts to back off a little bit in your area. So obviously hydrotain has really soared in popularity recently. A lot of homeowners are using it. Um, with great results, some claiming not such great results. I think a lot of that has to play into conditions when it was applied, how it was applied, whether that was applied correctly. Um, so really, all you can really do is try for yourself, observe the results, do the best you can with your applications, and just hope that whenever you do apply it, that you're doing things correctly and in the right manner. I know hydrotain has been used and is used on a lot of sports turf, a lot of golf courses, and is actually used at the Super Bowl this year. Um, so it's kind of cool to hear that you know products like that are being used um, not only in the homeowner setting, but also in golf and in professional sports. And so the whole goal of the video today was to really give you more of an accurate depiction of what hydrotain is and how it works. I've seen a lot of content that will tell you or make claims about hydrotain taking moisture and humidity from the air and bringing it down into the soil and making it available to the grass, which is actually not true. It's not how the product was designed to work, nor does it actually work in that way. You gotta have the water in the soil. Remember that. And so the guys behind Hydrotain, Jim and Rick, over at Ecologel, between the two of them, they've got over like 60 or 70 years combined in the turf industry. Jim actually more specifically has worked um, on a lot of turf grass science projects. We actually had the opportunity to work with Dr. Jim Beard, who's kind of regarded as the godfather of turf grass science. One of his most famous, famous books that he's released um, in the last 40 years or so is called Turf Grass Science and Culture. It's a book that I like. I'll link that in the description below in Amazon where you can find that. It's a good book if you want to learn a lot of the basics of turf grass science and culture and things of that nature. I know it's a book that's still used in at the college level today. A lot of lawn care operators and sports turf managers, golf course superintendents, to this day they still go back and they reference that book from time to time. So it's a good one. Go check that one out. So with that, I hope you learned a little something about Hydrotain today, how you can apply it, where you can buy it, and also maybe a little bit more information about how you can use it in combination with other products or buy a ready-made combination product that already exists. So with that, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.